Hello YouTube, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a new device called Note on Random. It's made by Shep over at Mute Production and he did it in Max for Live. It's a very simple device, um, but very powerful. So I'm just going to demonstrate what I come up with in silent using this one. <laughs> So yeah, just a bunch of nonsense sounds. Anyway, let's get right to it. Let's create a new MIDI track. And I'm gonna grab the autoplay from Altar Wisdom. And by the way, I'm gonna link all the devices in my description on the video if you are curious on what, on what devices I'm using. So I'm just gonna do quick tweaking over here. And let's take Silent, for example. Now, we all know that Silent is a, it's a really good synth. Um, it's just that it doesn't have a lot of routing and modulation capabilities, such as other popular synths like Vital, Faceplant, um, uh, Serum, and, and uh, Pigments. So, but I still like this one. And with the note on random, which I tend to use a lot in, in Serum and Vital and all the other hybrid synth, the more modern ones, um, it's, it's a shame that Silent doesn't have that capability. But uh, since Shep, that little clever boy, um, made this device, we now have that capability within it. So I'm going to copy this over five times. Um, this is brand new. I think he's planning on updating it so you can use one device but map several parameters, such as the, the uh, Max for Live LFO, for example. Um, so, so I have to copy it over like this. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to pick the the different parameters you want to modulate. So in this case, I want to modulate the cutoff. I want to modulate the rate of the LFO. I want to modulate the wave. And mind that you have to choose another wave in order for it to show up here. And I want to do the same thing over here. And then I want to do something in the effect section as well. Uh, so I'm going to activate the distortion. Uh, I want to move it to full back, and then I want to activate the chorus to give the sound some space. But I want to modulate the feedback to be randomized each note hit. So let's start tweaking over here. So we have a normal bandpass over here. And I forgot to draw the... So, just a boring patch. Nothing interesting is happening. So, what we can do over here now is, let's move this to the cutoff. This one to the rate. This one to the waveform. This one to the other waveform. This one to the feedback. Now, since everything is set at 0%, it's going to move all the dials to the left. And in this case, it's going to choose the sine wave because that's the lowest value, apparently. So let's start tweaking this. And then the waveform. Could be a good thing for me to actually activate the voices as well. Um, there we go. So I want to move the 
this guy. And then, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot the uh, the pitch as well uh, on the LFO. So now we can make nonsense patches in silent as well. <laughs> I think it can make it even more complex. Um, fuck. That was supposed to go to the feedback, right? Yeah. Um, what's going on? Yeah. Wait. Thank you. Uh, we could... I'm not sure this works, but I'm just gonna try for the sake of it. Let's, um... Yeah. I wonder if I can map. Yeah, it can map it to itself. So, so that's the thing. I mean, this device lets you map it to whatever you want, basically. Um, I tried before, I'm not gonna show it now, but I tried before creating an instrument rack where I made three different sounds using three different synthesizers, and then I mapped the note on random to a chain selector. So that means that every note hit, it changed an instrument. So it's really up to your imagination on how you're gonna use this device. Um, I think it can be really helpful in these type of uh, cases. So yeah, um, as I said before, I'm gonna leave the links in the description. If you like the video or wanna support my channel, you can just hit like and subscribe. So yeah, thanks guys.